Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to discuss about logging a message, its categories and its functionalities. Let's get started into the topic. Normally when you are executing uh, some program, we would like to see how it is being executed and what are the rules that are being uh, invoked during the process. And we have tracer to see like what are the rules and how the logic behind the code is happening. But every time you can't sit and see the tracer. If there are some exceptions which are like not reproducible, then if you want to see what has happened, there is only one thing in any programming language. It is just a logger. So logger is the source of truth for us to see like uh, which rule has been invoked, what is the issue behind this and all. In Pega, we can see the log files in the below path, configure, system, operations logs i'm pausing here so that everyone can remember this if i go here i can see external log viewer and log files if i click log files you can see all the different kinds of log files that are generated in the system so these are the different log files uh, generated in the system so before getting into this log files there are different categories of log files like pega log alert log these are bigs related log and this is data flow related logs and this is security related logs so apart from configuration side from front end there is some xml called in pega called as peer log 4j2.xml from version 7.2 or 3 yeah. this xml is being used uh, to configure the log level setting make sure that you switch on the pop-up settings in uh, browser otherwise this window you can't see now if i go here pega log if i want to see see i can see all the pega logs if you want to filter by the developer name or the operator id you can do that if you don't want uh, you can just do that see these are the log files and you can see timestamp over here and you can see uh, there is an error here and see here there are few issues with error so this is how uh, Pega log will be printed. So these are all the util classes in back and uh, Java code will be invoked. Apart from it, so if you see here, there are different kinds of log levels in Pega. If, if you select off, it will turn off all the logging. If you want to see uh, some fatal errors, you can uh, give this log level. If you want to uh, give error as a log level, it would be giving uh, serious errors uh, for the application. And if you want to show some alerts, like suppose uh, you are invoking a call to a request or some service. So it is exceeding more time. So there are some OOTB alerts like alert 0043, 0041 and all. So if you want to see this, you have to see, do these settings in your Pega log. This is one to indicate there is like there is some warning in the system where the application performance might go down. And if you want uh, some more information, you can give this debug. So where actually we will uh, save this log levels, where actually we give and for which rule you will give. For that purpose, Pega has uh, given in admin studio, switch back to admin studio. So this is admin studio, right? In admin studio, if you go to resources, if you see here log categories see these are all the log categories and defined by pega these are like ootb things if you see here there is default log level on current log level if you want to change some log level of this uh, particular category just click on the three icons click change log level and you can update the log level that uh, you want. So suppose you are tracing some issue and you found like a uh, data flow is uh, not performing properly. Then you can come here. You see that uh, log level is error. So you want more information on this. Just go to change log level and you can go for debug mode. And if you want to filter with the operator or if you want to filter with the rule type, you can give here and uh, if you want specific uh, rule you can give the class name of that and the rule name of this and you can submit so once uh, you are done with that you can just go here and uh, you can reset uh, the log level again 
it is good practice to reset the log level otherwise unnecessarily our log file will be accumulated with more logs and with unnecessary information if you have changed many things and if you want to reset all the log uh, levels just click on this so it will reset all the categories of log okay if you can go page by page you can see many log settings over here and uh, we can search also log here if you want to create a category suppose if i click action create category you can define one log like custom log all right you want uh, one class like uh, like this click submit you can see like there are 70 categories now now you can go to the last and see this is the category that we have defined now if you want to change you can otherwise if you want to delete the log you can sorry if you want to delete the category you can delete the category see i want deleting this category so in this way you can set the log level and uh, in this way you can create a category so based on the exception or based on the issue you are facing you have to be make sure like uh, you have to do these uh, changes if you want automatic reset also you can give an option like this suppose for the next four hours you want to observe application you can give this four hours and if you click submit after four hours this particular log will be reset to the same level okay and suppose um, in execution you want to write some message to the log in activity we have been provided with an step called as log message if i go here just click log so you can give you a message uh, in parentheses okay and if you want some uh, properties you can give like this okay and if you want to use some functions uh, you can uh, do this expression builder so if you want to know exact issue you can click here scroll up browse here there is a function called as get worse message and uh, like this give it to boots and submit save so you can see the exact message and here there is something called as logging level there are different kind of logging levels like for this fatal and all these are like logging levels in pega that we have discussed so to differentiate or to identify this logging level you have to pass this so these are the levels that are there based on our scenario you have to select one particular logging level if it is debug it will debug the cvrt if it is info just info cvrt warn error info forced these are the different logging levels that we have seen over here so you can keep here based on this to the tracer it will show uh, don't get confused this logs you can see only in log file and tracer but not through admin studio that is like category and uh, setting log levels this is like how we are printing the log messages to our server there is something option called as generate stack trace and send to tracer these options are required when you want to send all the stack trace to the uh, log file and this uh, you have to select if you have selected this generate stack trace otherwise it won't send uh, this particular trace to the tracer this is how you will invoke uh, logging mechanism from an activity and uh, from data transform also you can do it in data transform there is something called as px log message so this particular uh, the message i want to log so this is otp function like how in the activity we are differentiating the log levels 
in data from data transform also we can differentiate we can pass a character here like i d f so this is the OTV function like px log message and we have to specify log level with a character if it is d for uh, if it is debug we will specify d if i want it as info i one means w if it is info force i will have f if it is error i want e so based on this from data transform also you can invoke logging mechanism so to learn more about logging and to know more clear details about this these two are very helpful links uh, from Pega documentation i would be posting these links in the description of the video I hope you guys understood the logging mechanism and the different categories and how we will be working from data transform activity. Thank you. Happy learning. Please watch, subscribe and share to your colleagues.